species around the world are threatened by illegal and unsustainable harvest and trade to supply the global demand for food, traditional medicine, pets, decoration, and other uses of wildlife. To combat these threats, the United States submitted several proposals to the 16th meeting of the Conference of the Parties to CITES, or COP16, to protect vulnerable wildlife and better regulate trade. And the United States identified its top priorities for success at COP16. More than 2,000 participants, including delegates from over 170 countries, official observers, media and visitors convened in Bangkok, Thailand for this 12-day meeting. Once COP16 was underway, the delegation began discussing proposals with other CITES parties, meeting with partners and observers, and promoting U.S. priorities. And then we have a great proposal on turtles and tortoises with China that we're doing jointly with China. And it's significant because those species are uh, highly threatened, but it's very significant because it's the first time we've worked on a joint proposal with China. After two weeks, the United States gained support on nearly all of its priority issues. Here to openness, cooperation, and compromise in this landmark. The increased transparency that we have seen in this room today and throughout the meeting is a testament to the fact that this convention only, will only grow stronger over time. With the adoption of many of the proposals submitted or supported by the United States, COP16 was a huge success for conservation of sharks, turtles, and many other animal and plant species needing greater protections. COP16 represented a landmark moment for international cooperation and wildlife trade regulation. The delegation's hard work was rewarded with groundbreaking conservation efforts and a renewed hope for the future of the world's wildlife.